the country she's from? I could be wrong. Chat, correct me if I am. Um, but AV is, you know, a pretty good snake as well, and she was, uh, honestly keeping a pretty good nice last time. At Salem yeah. as well in the snake diddle. <laughs> um, we got Noggy versus him right now, and we have a Ken. What? Ken from oh, it. it? No, this is um, that's not Noggy. That's Channel Three Restaurant. Oh, but yeah. Okay, I was about to say because I was, I was, I was, oh, I was like, uh, <laughs> it's I, apologize. <laughs> I totally apologize. It's like, wait a minute, that's not right. <laughs> but Look, yeah. You know, we can hype him up real quick, it's, it's fine. <laughs> it's true. I think this is an interesting yeah, matchup, cool. though. And I know I say this all the time, this might probably, like, the thing I say the most about any matchup. But, at the same time, it's one that we don't really see, especially Cloud. You know, because... Oh, yeah, especially since all the changes they've, they've done to him. Mm -hmm. Less and less people play him, but it does take a lot more skill and, and execution. And Cloud, essentially, uh, along with... Uh, with uh, other big sword characters like uh shulk and ike like they they're kind of variations of ike to be honest because if you notice hidden is using a lot of aerials to try to approach in on restaurant here and cloud can't do uh you were you were uh clips anymore like he can't just uh, uh, you were just from the stage like he has to short hop you were really land his shots. He has to throw out a lot of aerials, fares, nares, just to get in, uh, and it just makes it really hard for him to uh, appropriately close in in neutrals. So uh, that's the challenging part ab about Cloud right now. Right. I go over something extremely overzealous off the stage. Think, oh my God! <laughs> And oh, please don't match out. Don't mess this up. Mm, okay, sure okay, you can. Honestly, I really wanted to the punish there. Goodness yeah. me. It's like a little too like, long for that punish. I was, I was confused afraid. about the run back. I was like, what? <laughs> on the edge of my seat. Like, why? <laughs> but, like, he's running really well. He's at 199%. And even though he's at such a high percentage, he's showing a bit of no fear action. He's all up in his face. And unfortunately, he did get a little too greedy there. And he got yeah. clipped in with that down smash. That's true. And Aiden's making some ground right now, trying to build up some damage. Hmm? He's been really good at hitting these up bees out of shield. Almost all of them have connected. That's that is the first true. Time I've seen restaurant block and goodness gracious, look at the combo he gets. Chris. He just managed to roll under that uh, Hadouken there, which probably would have done a bit more damage. Not anything too critical, but at the same time, like it's good that he probably rolled past that to avoid anything that could have happened right here. Aside from that limit, obviously, but you know, it could have looked a bit differently. That's for sure. An incredible offstage interaction by them though. Mm, going out there for the Bakke and Restaurant going with the focus stock right on time to clip the Bakke get back to the stage and actually end up being the one to take the next stock with the Shoryuken. Yeah, that's the one thing that makes Ken or just the real uh, characters just really devastating. Is, yeah, especially like they, they can land really devastating combos on you. It just takes just one jab or tilt and that can easily combo off into uh, an, an up B kill for sure. Uh, and that's what kind of makes it really scary. And in this case, Hidden has to be very careful. And I love the fact that he quickly reacted to avoid that Shiryuken, especially if it was true, that would have been a really devastating stock, but great hit on that cross slash taking that stock off of restaurant there making it even to a one-on-one -on -one, but hidden is at 82 percent he has to be very careful with how he approaches this that's true that's true and right now it's last talk it's a last talk situation and it's looking more so in favor of hidden no sorry it more in favor of restaurant right now and he definitely does have the combo game and the potential to end hidden stock relatively quickly so hidden just needs to play a bit more carefully and he is playing carefully mind you but uh, Ken is getting in at certain moments in time, just like that. I guess oh. ended the match. We didn't get to see, them, unfortunately. But yeah, I don't lie. I honestly thought you two could match, and I, I, I no, just could. No, <laughs> I was missed. I was missed. I was like, dang, this 
was exciting. I didn't really wish Chilogen would let me see it. <laughs> that's, 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 that's the support. secret. <laughs> that's the secret. He got. Secret, he has. Yeah. yeah, he has a sixth sense right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I totally just guessed. I was like, well, I guess. <laughs> it just happened. I mean, I don't know. Commentator's curse is a real thing. I believe it. Oh, it is. I have experienced that many times. <laughs> so, oh man. Well, now we know. It's a real thing. Yeah, I mean, like I've I've been in cases where, or I've seen cases actually, where uh, a game is completely one-sided, but because the commentator said something differently, it turned the entire game around. Oh it happens. It's real. It <laughs> I think I apologize to all the players in the previous Black Nebula fight pits before the entire <laughs> COVID, but in Stardust, our commentator's curse has been the cause of a lot of upsets, turnarounds. This around, is very off. true, though. <laughs> <laughs> this is very <laughs> true. <laughs> if someone dies, we're just someone like, oh, let's that. probably commentate on everything possible we can, and then, like, you know, like, just like, oh, well, he's behind, and it's like, oh, Time to shine, and just like, mm -mm. like you know, but there are gonna be no changes from restaurant and hidden right now. Cloud versus Ken, one punch versus one sword, and we'll see who can hit harder. It feels like they're both confident with uh, their choices, uh, but we are on a, a a different stage and layout, so probably uh, I feel that uh, maybe Cloud feels a lot more comfortable in a tri platform stage rather than uh, the two platform layout from before. <laughs> So we'll see. Um, but I can uh, definitely see this being uh, a good stage for Cloud too, especially that middle platform, especially if Ken tries to, to uh, camp there a bit, or uh, if he ends up being pressured to land on there, Cloud can follow up very e e e easily on there. So I can see that being a, a good advantage. And this stage also transitions, so it can give uh, Cloud more room to uh, adapt and uh, change up his play style just a bit to accommodate for the play. Mm -hmm. I do think it'll be a bit harder for Ken because he's more accustomed to stages with smaller blast zones for sure. Where he can just catch you off the top with a Shoryuken or where he can just catch you with a focus attack into a certain combo where he can just end you, per se. Um, I do agree that this stage is more fitted for Cloud, whereas for, uh, for Ken, even though he does hit harder than Cloud most of the time, he is going to have a hard time getting kills more so than Cloud is, I feel. Yeah, that's for sure, because right now we're seeing Ken is actually having a tough time trying to close in that gap on the Cloud. And I love that read there, that roll read coming on from ledge and just executing that kill. That was very clean from Cloud, especially he knew uh, that Ryu was going to try to go in for more of a defensive approach, especially since he was at a such high percentage. Uh, mm -hmm. So but that was a really nice read from him on his part. But yeah, like Ken is having a difficult time just closing in and he tried to abuse that platform height to get that Shiryuken, but unfortunately he didn't land, I don't think he landed all the hits to really uh, secure that spot. He did actually miss the last hit. He did? But it was a very, it was a good attempt, honestly. <laughs> it was, it was. Yeah. And then early he even had the shield pressure on for, as well, but uh, Hidden's just been using these alpha bees out of shield to really just get himself out and not let him stay too long in that, you know, shield pressure where he can't really move and he just has to watch his shield deplete, so... There's also that. It was a situation earlier where Hidden actually dropped his shield and just opted to take the damage because he realized if he held the shield for the entire combo, it's gonna lead to another shield break. Right, and you, quite frankly, you don't want to have a lot of those, because, I mean, who really wants to have their shield broken, you know? Unless... <laughs> Especially against a character that could probably end your stock with one combo as soon as they break your shield. Uh, exactly. One three-hit combo at that. You probably only need, like, two moves and a Shoryuken that's probably medium or heavy. And then after that, then... Lux Absolutely. Buck. However, you do have the style. Mm-hmm. I do yeah, recommend yeah. style, as long as you can back it up. <laughs> exactly, because he can't uh, style, and then mm. <laughs> he can lose that. Nearly, like, nearly boxed like... it up, and um, 
It's an example of comedy the stress right there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like, oh, I, was, okay. I was just about to say because restaurant was really trying to style on Hidden, landing some cool footsies here and there, and then oh. Hidden's like, okay, Hidden, don't do this to me, please. I'm trying to hype you up now. <laughs> I'm literally trying to like put you in good light and you suicide. I just saw him <laughs> up me. I guess up me again. I was just like all around me are familiar. <laughs> like it just rang in my head. It honestly just rang in my head. It was insane. My god. Oh my god. But yes, the moral of the story. Styling can get you places, but more than not, you'll you'll just get styled on instead. <laughs> it's like oh. Was new. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this was- Ooh, I love that delay there! That was such a good delay! That was so good. I love that delay, waited for him to DI, to see where he was gonna go, to clip him again, and execute that stock with Shiryuken. I love- I love that 